Hey guys, welcome to Safi Maxed. In this video, you will learn how to develop the skill of constructing functions and using them to solve the problems of physics. For the sake of simplicity and grasping the concept very vividly, I have written the code for solving a college level problem through the solution of equation of motions. So let me first read the statement of the problem. Just as car A is starting up, it is passed by car B. Car B travels with a constant velocity of 10 meter per second. While car A accelerates with a constant acceleration of 4.5 meter per second square starting from rest. Now part A. Compute the distance traveled by each car for times of 1 second, 2 seconds, 3 seconds and 4 seconds. And in part B, the question, the question is asked, at what time approximately does car A overtake car B? This is obviously a very simple problem and every college level student of physics has the concept how to solve this problem. But here I want to solve this problem through Mathematica by developing the concept of constructing functions. So what I do here, I construct function for the distances covered by the two body using the first equation of motion that is s is equal to v i t plus half a t square. So here I write the same equation with a different form. Here v a in fact represents the initial velocity of first body t is time a capital a small a times capital A is the acceleration and uh, t is again the time square. But I construct a function over here. S a is a function of v a t in a a and the underscore tells Mathematica that this is that this is a free variable and any value can be given to it at any time of the <coughs> run of the program. So I construct the distance covered by car A as a function of its initial velocity, time and acceleration. And the same I do for particle B, where instead of writing it as VA, I write here as VB. So the distance covered by, by car B is a function of its velocity, time and its acceleration though this acceleration is zero but I will set it later on equal to zero at the moment I'm writing it as a general equation and the equation goes the same way like the equation for particle A only with notation different VB and AB. I can alongside find the velocity of car A at any time t by constructing by using the second equation of motion and constructing a function for the final velocity this way. So I write the final velocity of car A as a function of its initial velocity v a time taken and its acceleration a capital A which goes as v a equal to a a times t. In order to get the result of each of these equations, next I construct another function in the form of a list. You see here I'm putting the curly braces at the side with elements v f a which is this one function, s a which is this one function and s b which is the distance covered by the car B. So SAB in fact is a function that gives me the final velocity of car A, the distance covered by car A and the distance covered by car B. Okay, how does this course work? Let me run the function SAB for each value of time given in part A and setting the values of other parameter according to the given data. So what I have in the argument of SAB VA is the initial velocity of car A which is zero and I'm setting it equal to zero over here. VB is the initial velocity of car B and I'm setting it equal to 10 as given in the 
given is given in the data. T is the time which I'm setting it equal to one and A A is the acceleration of car one which is given equal to 4.5 and then finally A B is the acceleration of car B which is equal to zero as given in the statement of the problem. So before I evaluate the answer to this problem I have to tell Mathematica what these commands are. So let me add everyone to the kernel of Mathematica. Now if I run this part it gives me the values of the corresponding distances and the final velocity. So 4.5 is the final velocity of car A after one second, 2.25 is the distance covered in one second and 10 is the distance covered in one second by car B. Since the velocity of car A is 4.5 therefore it covers smaller distance as compared to the distance covered by car B. If I substitute for t equal to 2 as over here and run this up. Now I get the velocity of car A reaches 9 meter per second in 2 seconds. The distance covered by it is also 9 meter and the distance covered by car B is now 20 meter. If I put the value of time equal 3 the velocity of the second car increases to 3.5 the distance it covers is 20.25 and the distance covered by car b is 30 meter and if i substitute for the loss option of time which is 4 i replace 4 at this position we see the velocity of car A now increases to 18 meter per second. The distance it covers is 36 meter and the distance covered by car B is 40 meter. So this way you can find out the values by constructing a function. Now let's move to the second part of the question which says at what time approximately does car A overtake car B? In order to solve the second part of this equation, I have to construct a function of the distances covered by the two cars such that their difference equals zero. And that I can do by first constructing a function delta s of the same parameters as given above and write that distance as the difference of the distance covered by car A which is SA and the distance covered by car B which is SB. Car A will overtake car B only then when they both are at the same distance. This means delta S equals 0. So I have to solve it for the time at which the difference between the distances of car A and car B equals 0. And that's what I do through the solve command. Therefore, I substitute the result of this equation setting it equal to zero, the double equal, note the double equal sign. Double equal signs in Mathematica means equal sign in traditional calculations. So if I substitute the values of all the parameter in living t unknown and I ask Mathematica to solve this equation for t, that goes like this one equation. So if I run this out, it gives me two times t equal to 0 and t equals 4.4444. Obviously, at t equal to 0, as given in the statement of the problem, car B crosses car A. So, at t is equal to 0, they both are at the same distance. And t equals 4.444, they are at the same distance, mean a t equals 4.44 car A overtakes car B. I hope this simple code for solving a very simple problem of physics based on the equation of motion will help you to generate 
complex codes for solving complex problem in your research. Good luck and thanks for watching.